Hey guys, Matt here. Today we are going to talk about bad RAM and how dangerous this can be for your computer. If you have a stick of bad RAM, you run the chance of corrupting uh, files on your computer such as like Word docs or even executables uh, like a program. So I'm going to teach you how to download a program. It's a free program called uh, Memtest86. It's um, very small. I'll teach you how to burn it to a DVD. And then uh, we'll go through and show you what it looks like uh, when we test it on a computer with supposed bad RAM. So the telltale sign of bad RAM is constant crashing. Your computer crashes, it restarts, it goes to like a blue screen. And the thing is, is every crash, the details may be different every single time. Usually they are. So, uh, if your computer is crashing or you know somebody with a crashing computer, you definitely want to check the RAM. It, it can save you a lot of time. So, anyway, let's get busy here. We have to download a few things. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is download memtest86. You can use memtest86 with a USB stick if you want. Um, if you know how to build a USB stick. Uh, I don't really have a tutorial for that, but I have to do that. Sorry, I don't know why this is here. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and, like I said, we did the search for memtest86. We'll go to the um, slash download.htm URL. Uh, under here, it's got Windows Downloads, and we're going to do a CD ISO format. So it down I've already downloaded it. Downloads is a zip. When you open it, you can see the ISO in there. Now, you not you might not be familiar with what an ISO is. It's just an image file that you can burn or build and make it make bootable media out of it, basically. So you do need to boot your computer to this. You need to boot your computer to this disk or this USB drive to check your RAM. You cannot check your RAM while Windows is running. You have to check it offline. So I've got my I've got my ISO. Uh, all right, the next thing I need to do is download something called Image Burn. So we will do a search for that. So IMG Burn. We'll go to the uh, official site right here, IMGBurn.com. But we'll just go ahead and click Download. And I would download right here from Mirror Seven, provided by Image Burn. So we're just going to go ahead and pretend that once we get Image Burn installed, we'll go ahead and click it right here. We'll open up Image Burn, and we're going to go ahead and write an image to disk. That That's the only button you need to know about right there. So go ahead and put in a writable DVD or CD. And we're just going to go ahead and click this. It says, please select a file. And we'll select memtest86-7.2. And if I had a disk in there right now, it would burn. I don't have one in there right now. But we're going to go go ahead and pretend that we did. So once you put your disk in there, you would just hit burn. And then your disk would be ready to go and use on someone's computer, your computer or anyone else's. So let's go ahead and go to our computer that has been crashing. We need to reboot this computer. And this could be tricky, and I'll show you how tricky it can be. You need to get to a point where you can actually boot off a disk or a USB drive. You may have to hit escape, F1, F2, delete. It just depends. You need to boot your computer to something like this. Just a bio screen that offers you the option to boot to a uh, an alternative drive, basically. So we'll go ahead and say CD-ROM drive. In this case, for me, uh, just go ahead and hit enter. These are the default uh, options for memtest. And right away, it just starts testing the RAM. And this test can go on for just a few minutes, or it can go on for just a, for a few hours. If an error comes up, you will see it appear in red. One error is one error too many. You cannot have more than zero. It has to be zero for your RAM to be clean. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
I know that was kind of a few steps there that uh, I haven't actually made tutorials for. I don't think I've made a tutorial for how to burn an ISO. Um, maybe I should. But yeah, this test, like I said, let it run through all the way. You've got, um, let's see, test 61%, pass 6%. Just make sure it just completes. It, when it's done completing, it'll say, hey, the test you know, came back okay. Would you like to keep running the test? And at that point, you would just say no. But like I said, one error is too many errors. So, all right. Well, that was a, an extremely fast video. Um, if you like the video, please uh, like it, uh, subscribe, share. And if you think my videos are worth a buck, go ahead and subscribe to me on Patreon. There's links like above the video right there. So I uh, will talk to you guys later. I'm, I'm putting out um, many more videos on a quicker pace, as you can see. I, the last video I put out was four days ago. If you have a suggestion on something you want to go ahead and see, just let me know. I, I'm always open to suggestions. I, I do try to mine questions every day online, and it's a big pain in the butt. So go ahead and uh, just say, hey, test this out. So I'll talk to you guys later.